yes, there's good things about consumerism, there's bad things about consumerism. Let's try to embrace a healthy consumerism that teaches us how to be responsible consumers. Totally. Not, but not like just consumers that are racked with guilt and shame, <laughs> like we're engaging in this kind of like, you know, <laughs> religious sin that we have to sort of atone for, right? That's just not, I don't think that that's a healthy attitude. It's hard to live in a society in which you have this dominant economic model that everybody participates in, right. but then everybody is sort of told by our intellectual betters that you're also supposed to feel ashamed to be participating. One thing I like is that I know, I know growing up, if I really wanted a certain toy or whatever, I would have to do chores, save up my money. And then when I actually got it, it did feel yes. very rewarding. And I think there is something where you're tying consumerism into, you know, a certain work ethic or just the idea of you have to work for something. Mm. I do think that there are some good aspects of it too. I've never been one of the, the evil guys. Well, and, <laughs> so, yeah. and, and what, what you're saying is, is important as well. Like gratitude is important. Like, totally. That was the other thing that I was taught when I was a kid too. Like take care of your toys don't throw your clothes on the floor, you know, like just treat your objects with a certain degree of reverence because, you know, if you haven't worked hard for them, somebody has, somebody had to acquire the money to purchase it. And, you know, Absolutely. somebody made this in a factory somewhere. Like you, you be aware of these sort of like larger sort of social factors that go into creating the things that we have. But then once you have them, you know, appreciate them. Don't take it for granted. <laughs> 